Hi there. There'll be some lively weather about this weekend, not for everyone, but in some places, some monstrous thunderstorms will develop. Heavy rain, frequent lightning, hail, all the possibility. We do need the rain, of course, but when it falls so heavily in such a short space of time, it can cause issues, and that could be the case this weekend. Certainly through the evening into the early hours of Saturday, we're going to see some showers increasingly spread into western parts of the UK. Could be some thundery activity for parts of Northern Ireland. Again, some torrential rain here, a possibility, not a guarantee, though. Either way, these showers will be hit and miss across western areas. A muggy night to come as that cloud advances from the Atlantic, and Temperatures stay up at 16 or 17 Celsius in the west. A different story for eastern areas. A fresh night here, 10 to 12 Celsius near the eastern northeast coast. Single figures perhaps for eastern parts of Scotland. But for the northeast of Scotland, some low cloud lingering through the night, and that's uh, affecting Shetland, Orkney, and parts of Caithness first thing this weekend. That's eventually going to creep into parts of Aberdeenshire. But further west, we've got those showers, and they're going to increasingly affect more central areas, perhaps even the southeast of England, heading into Saturday afternoon. And I think the biggest risk areas for thunderstorms uh, across parts of Wales, parts of southwest England, but more especially Northern Ireland, where some very lively downpours could develop, especially for counties Fermanagh and uh, Tyrone. Hail, lightning all a possibility as well. But they'll be hit and miss. Some areas will stay dry through the uh, day on Saturday, especially the further east you are. Some hazy sunshine as the high cloud advances from the west. I'm feeling warm, feeling muggy actually, with temperatures around the mid-20s, generally cooler towards the west where we've got those showers coming down, certainly cooler for the Northern Isles. Then into Saturday evening, further showery rain affects Western Scotland into western parts of England and Wales, Northern Ireland as well. Even some uh, further thunderstorms here and there. Also, there's the possibility of some thundery activity forming over the continent and drifting north into southeast England. But it's mild, muggy everywhere. Temperatures generally in the mid-teens as we start off Sunday. This low pressure is edging closer and closer as we start off Sunday. It's causing the air to rise, causing that instability, also introducing more humid air from the south and potentially drawing up some thunderstorms from the continent, even some longer spells of wet weather where these thunderstorms have merged. So there's that possibility for that in the southeast as we begin Sunday or even across central areas. And further north and west, we've got showers developing as temperatures rise through Sunday. So hit and miss downpours. Not everyone will see these showers, it's worth emphasising. Some places will stay mostly dry or even just see a small amount of rainfall through the day on Sunday. But other areas could be hit badly by 60 millimetres or more in a few hours, as well as frequent lightning and hail. So a lot of ingredients coming together, but uh, thunderstorms don't happen uh, widely across an area. Generally, they are hit and miss like uh, popping popcorn in a pan. Yellow thunderstorm warning at the moment for much of England and Wales. That's the area of most concern from impacts from thunderstorms. But even if you're in the yellow warning area, it doesn't mean you're guaranteed a thunderstorm. We'll refine the area over the next couple of days as we get closer to the event and uh, more evidence comes through about where these thunderstorms are likely to uh, particularly affect. Scotland, I think, still some showers, even the odd rumble of thunder about. But uh, the further north you are in the UK, the uh, more likely you are to stay drier with some sunny spells coming through. But eastern Scotland, northeast England, seeing some low cloud come in from the North Sea, keeping things cooler, fresher here. But actually, where we avoid the showers and thunderstorms to the south and southeast, temperatures could rocket up to the mid or even high 20s, perhaps 30 Celsius if we don't see cloud cover in the southeast. So it's very humid airflow that's coming up on Sunday and into Sunday night. And then it looks likely that these thunderstorms will merge, push north to bring a longer spell of rain further north across the UK, clearing away to sunny spells and showers on Monday and Tuesday. So lots going on this weekend. Very important to stay, uh, focus, stay across the weather forecast and you can find all the updates on social media. Bye-bye.